Welcome to part two of gases in the atmosphere and here's a few other experiments where we are going to determine the percentage of oxygen in the air but this time instead of using rust or instead of using copper we're going to use phosphorus. So phosphorus is incredibly reactive with oxygen. It burns in this bright light and it lets off this, this white powder. I'm going to show you a video shortly. Um, but it doesn't react with water so you can store it in water and what you can do is you can sort of have a bell jar here with a little rubber stopper you can put your phosphorus quickly into a, a evaporating basin um, or evaporating dish and you can and let some oxygen or let some air into this bell jar and record the level of the water over here okay and then quickly put on your your rubber stopper and what you'll see is a huge reaction happen where you'll start to see white smoke appearing and there'll be a whole bunch of uh, bright lights that comes out of here and what's happening here is the phosphorus is reacting with the oxygen the O2 that's lingering in this air okay now what we've, what we've said in previous experiments is when this happens the amount of if you think of it as particles, amount of particles in this in this space, in this sort of air space over here, has become less because they are now attached to this phosphorus. And if you have less space, what's going to happen is this water level is going to rise, as you can see in this diagram over here. So you can see that the phosphorus sort of piece, the small piece that we use here, has become even smaller, and the water level has has risen up to to this level. So what we could we could do here is measure the measure the initial volume and then measure the final volume. And again, what you would get here is twenty one percent for oxygen. So let's go have a, a look at that diagram now over here, and we can now see this experiment in real life. So have a look over here. I thought we ought to demonstrate this to just show you how reactive phosphorus really is. So, okay, I'm going to get some phosphorus in a second. It's really rather unpleasant stuff, so I need to put on my gloves here. And Mark is going to bring some warm sand. We've had some sand warming up in, uh, just in the corner there. Let's get the phosphorus out. So I'm just picking up a tiny little piece. So it's on the sand. And it's already caught fire. Oh, there we are. Look at that. So look at this. The light that we see here now is the reaction between this very reactive phosphorus burning with the oxygen that's in the air inside this flask and it's making phosphorus oxide. This is a chemical reaction but this chemical reaction is giving out light as well as heat. Okay, so that is our second experiment which deals with determining the percentage of oxygen in air. I hope it's been helpful and let's do one more video to summarize everything you need to know about this topic.